My name is Kathy DeBono. I live in West Hollywood, California. I'm an actor, a producer, and a therapist. I had been working in the film and television industry for a while when I decided to go back to school and get my master's degree in clinical psychology. I'd been working in a private practice as a psychotherapist when acting came back full circle, when the gay niche of the market was established and there was all this other opportunity and all these other roles that I found really intriguing and really important. My first job ever, if it wasn't when I was 10 years old or my dad would pay me to mow the lawn, um, it was when I was 13 and I was uh, the paper boy. <laughs> if you were a girl and your first job was a paper boy, that's one clue that you might be gay. I live in the gay mecca of the universe in West Hollywood, so it's easy for us to forget that the rest of the world is so, so, so far behind. What I'm starting to see more and more, especially with uh, Prop 8 and the things that we're, we're noticing, how our rights are being, we sort of champion for them a little bit and then they're taken away, and then we champion a little bit and then they're taken away. We don't have this solid, glued together ancestry that we can be born into and, and and keep the strength and hand down the strength. So things like DOT 429 or, or, or things like any organization that brings us together and keeps us connected with one another are so important so we can create that ancestry and we can hand it over to each other and we can take care of each other and not let that strength that we find throughout our lives disappear before the next generation can come over and reap its benefits and grow and get stronger. I love the idea of Dot 429 because it's a place we can go to find each other for the different things that we're doing, whether it's political, whether it's career-wise, whether it's personal, and we can look to ourselves first. I'm passionate about making good content for our community. I love our community. And the more involved I get with it, the more I love it, and the more I want to be a part of it, and the more I feel committed to telling our stories. I think success is being able to look back at what you've done and know that you've followed your heart, you've, you've been true to yourself, and you've been, in the face of adversity, willing to stand up for what's right and to do it with integrity.